having a fantastic day today I'm feeling tip top after I'd like to say a good night's sleep but we're not even talking about night times in our house ever ever again but I am feeling good this morning I completely forgot that I had a lunch play date with a couple of my friends which I'm very much looking forward to but I did forget about it and I had planned on some jobs this morning which I'm now having to wait but it's all good Excuse me, little pudding. Jace definitely is, is it the shoes, darling? Don't you love the shoes? I think that might mean I get these shoes off my feet, Mum, now. <laughs> anyway, I am quite glad. I do have some jobs that I've had to put off this morning, but I can get them done a bit later this afternoon. And I am glad because I don't know why, but I've got some straight terrible mum guilt going on at the minute absolutely awful mum guilt just for everything at the moment and I know it's ridiculous because my children are they've got everything they need basically and I don't know as parents you just worry about stupid things don't you all the time and I'm just going through one of those stages at the minute where I just feel bad about everything I feel bad that I'm dragging Jace to the office all the time I feel bad that I'm in shops shopping all the time even though <laughs> I feel bad that he's wearing shoes because I thought they were cute when he obviously hates them and I'm glad that I'm going to spend the morning playing with him at a soft play. So, are you ready to go, little man? He's like, get out of here now. What's up, iFam? So we're just starting the day, the trail away. We've got ourselves a little addition to the family this morning, which I've just been to pick up this morning. And then I went to go and pick up a really big delivery for baby and me, which is what's inside there right now. I need to go get myself to the office and unload it really, really quick because my day's flying by today, literally flying by. But right now, I need to go and get this done because in an hour, one hour, Isla's got her nativity at her school that we're gonna go watch, I'm really excited for. But um, I need to get this done beforehand so that I don't miss it. Come back and get the trailer dropped off and all the rest of that sort of stuff. Super, super busy morning this morning. So, um, let's go. Who remembers this from last Christmas? Same trailer, exact same one. You were missed, my friend. Can't believe it's Christmas again, guys. Let's do this. Also, check this out. So when it was really icy the other morning, like really, really icy, one of our neighbors walked down the street and slipped on a patch of black ice just outside our house. Completely took out my lamppost. I'm literally devastated, literally devastated. But she's obviously offered to repair it and all the rest of it, which I've declined because I'll repair it, I'll sort it out, it's fine. But you know, I'm still sad about it. Right, let's get going. Good morning, I'm firm. Hi. Me and Esme have just got ourselves ready for the day. And I mean, it's actually doing something really cool today. So I know like, not a lot of people are as fortunate um, as us to get presents. So, me and Esme are going to empty out pretty much the whole playroom, literally, aren't we, Es? Yeah. All the boxes out and see if we can donate any um, old toys that we don't really use anymore um, to charity. Um, because not everyone can afford presents for their children, family members. So we're just going to pretty much go through all of the playroom, all of the boxes, and try and fill, like, two. Yeah two of the, the boxes full that we have. Um, and we're going to try for two boxes of presents to give to charity. So Esme, are you ready to get to it, yeah? Yeah! Let's go! So we literally just tipped out the first box. There's like so much plastic and everything that like from games that we don't even use anymore. So we've got like a bin pile over there. This is a charity box. So we've got like a little Barbie hairdress thing. Um, this, which, oh my gosh. This still works, so it's like, you switch on the back, and it talks to you, it's so cute, but we don't really use it anymore, do we, Ez? So we're giving this to charity. We're give this to charity, but it's quite cool, but... We're going, yeah, we're going to give this to charity as well, we don't really use it, it's really cool, but we're not, we don't really use it, so, this to charity, anything else? We don't really use Yeah, I think, yeah, because some people have, like, our generation sets. Yeah. So we'll definitely Salvanian put that in there. Salvanian, sorry. So I just found this really nice bracelet in the box, and I really like it. But I was just thinking, like, we're trying to think, we might really like things, but we like, might not use them. And I don't believe that I'm going to probably wear this, even though it's really pretty. So I think I'm going to give it to Charity. This is the current rubbish pile. First box. 
and we've sort of just refilled up this. Well, it's actually not a lot, considering that big pile, and this is what we gathered out of it. But hopefully, when we give this to charity, it'll make some other people very happy on Christmas, right, Ez? Yes. Do you want to get the second box down? Let's go. I've also put this headband on. Anyway, Ez, oh. And that's so Max is giving us charity, yeah, because he's yeah. some hair here. Esme is also, which is really kind, doing up all the hairs of the dolls that we find to make them look really pretty. Oh. I'm scared to get this one out, I don't know why. Just go, 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 go. Ready? <gasps> that noise was not nice. <gasps> oh, I thought I was going to be scared to open this one. Oh my. <laughs> no, did that actually just happen? How on earth did that box? This is actually embarrassing, Esme. This is embarrassing, guys. And the smell of the big Jeez. Are you happy now? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's got the cutest outfit on today, I found. This is from Lucky Mummy Clothing on Instagram. And we were gifted this beautiful outfit along with the white one that was a unique design to her store. And I love them so much. This is my favourite Christmas print in the whole world. It's so cute. And as you can tell, Jace is completely over the moon with it. Jace, your little pearly whites are sticking right up today. Also, I managed to occupy the shoe situation and keep them on. <laughs> It's because his feet get so cold. Babies are okay at this time of year when they wear like snow suits, but they don't tend to have really thick socks. So I always feel so sorry for his little toes when we go out and he's just got socks on. His feet must be frozen, so that's why I got those shoes and he wasn't too keen on them to start with. But he seems okay now. It's super quiet here today, isn't it? Where's Elliot? Is he up? <laughs> You don't watch Elliot. Elliot's a little bit older than Jace and he's literally, his mum can't sit down. <laughs> What's that? What's that? No lie I fam, Jace was literally just sat here reading that book and I was talking to my friend. I looked away, I don't know how he's done it, but he's, he's currently just got himself over there to his friend and he's like, move over mate, let me in. <laughs> Yeah, he must have rolled that bum shuffle dog. I don't know what he's done, but he's, wa he's wanting in on the action. <laughs> I think this little man needs a ball pool. <laughs> Jeez, what's that wall? Are you looking at yourself? He's literally so happy since he got in here. <laughs> what's this? Do you like the balls? <laughs> Say, Daddy, this is what I need. I need in fact, I reckon this is like one of those things you can fill up with um, water, isn't it? Or sand. It's a good idea. That's a good idea. Jason. Boo. Are you having fun? So we just ordered a little snack and I was very curious as to what kid toast was <laughs> on the menu. 30p kiddie toast. And it's jigsaw puzzles. What's that? This is like, I don't know, but I like the look of it. So pass it here. Come here. Here you go. Yum yum yum. Does Elliot want one? Probably. Yum yum. <laughs> Probably. What's Big Boy on? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look, put your feet here. Ready, hold on. half past one that was so lovely I absolutely had just a fabulous time catching up with my friends and then seeing Jace oh my god it's so cute just playing around rolling on the floor I don't know how he manages to get from one place to another but he's moving so amazingly quick right now it's so sweet seeing him play with his friends and oh my gosh that little donkey at the end that plastic rocky thing so cute might have to be a birthday purchase what and Jace is literally so tired right now. He's definitely going to fall asleep. I have to jet off because I've got Isla's nativity to go and watch. She's a sheep. So I'm just about to set off and head there now. Box number three. Oh, it's me. It's actually so sad how much plastic we're putting away. It makes it like every time I find like a plastic toy that it's either broken or it's just that you, we can't give away. Oh, that's so good. We'll We've give this a charity. We've got like a Moana. Um, I did her hair really good because she had like loads of um, 
What are those things called? Stuck in her hair? And I cut them out and made it a hair and look nice. Oh, buttons. Yeah. This is what the box is looking like so far. We've got some real cool stuff in here. Yeah. Some, like a baby that has no made with some clothes. We've got a Mawanda doll. Now we can add Rapunzel to I ours and maybe brush her hair. hair. Because she had her full hair was covered in them bunchums that are like them little Yeah, it was. It was things so are bad. Like little, really fun to play, but they get stuck in your hair so easily. So, um, and her whole hair was covered in it, but I got them all out and yeah, it's really nice. So, we're definitely going to give that to charity, right? And it also, and it also sings, sings yeah. yeah. And these bits light up in her hair, so hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's do number box number three. so close we're already on to box number four that wouldn't have like many like good things in it to give to charity we've also got a wonderful oh my gosh this is Moana's hair literally that's how much I took out because all of this is filled of bunchums and you can hardly you can basically see them anyway we have some frozen music going Esme has just gone downstairs to get my charger because my MacBook's on five percent which is really sad beautiful singing Esme <laughs> okay Box number four. Let's go, guys. Let's grab it out. Okay, guys, now we have done no, no, box number four. <laughs> We're gonna do now box number five. This is really good as well because, guess what? We filled the box up. Woo! We filled the box up. So now we can start a new one. OMG, is my. Let's get started. Okay, so we had this big box and we tipped out the number five that we just tipped out and we were cleaning up all the toys and then we looked in this box and it's covered in pink dust, like I don't even know what it is, like pink dust stuff. And then we moved some toys out the way because we were like, oh my gosh, what if that's gone on the floor? We moved some toys out the way and the entire carpet was stained with pink, it, it was like, like dust. Like, like, this kind of pink though, it was like yeah, it was like bright, it was like this the, color pink. This it was color the brightest pink, right here. pink ever, and it was it, like dust it's on the everywhere, floor. absolutely so everywhere. Thought, and we're trying to rub it, rub yeah, it out. Yeah, we then we it. thought we were just rubbing it in, and we used like three bottles of soap and oh. stuff. But we fixed it, and it's all good now, and you can't see anything. And we finished box five. Yeah. So now we're doing box number on a towel, just six. in case. Just in case there's any <laughs> any more of that Disasters. pink dust in there. <sighs> it's about Time to put the rubbish in the boxes. In the <laughs> bin box. That. Yeah, let's tip this box out. Oh, empty. Oh, there's a whisper packet in there. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we can give this to charity. There's something talking in here. Oh, look how cute that is, Esme. We'll definitely give that to charity. Yeah. That's so cute. <gasps> oh, 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 Esme. We should have done this box. Oh, not another disaster. What do we do now? Guys, what do we, we don't do have now? the hoover because it's at the office. Oh and no. I can't pick those up. The hoover can't even pick them up. They're really hard to pick up even with the hoover. I've tried it before. Oh, I'm doing what we're going to do. Let's just look through. Let's just look through the box and then we can try to clean it after. It's okay. I've said this so many times today because me and Isabel, it's not we're our not, lucky day. We're not having a good day, guys. We're not. This is thought this would be such a good idea. We could nothing bad is gonna happen. We want First to help of all, other people yeah. get some nice toys for them. Yes. First of all, we we pour out this box and, and it's everything's fine. Second of all, and then we pour out another box full of pink. Don't even Dust. know what. I don't even know what it is. It looks like pink sugar or something everywhere. It took us like half an hour to tidy it up. Nearly stained the carpet, nearly. <sighs> nearly stained the carpet. We've got chocolate on the carpet and it's all over my jumper. I don't know how that's happened. I don't know where it's come from. And we've got foam beads everywhere. No, no joke there. Where they come from? Like they, they even stick to my hands. Like look, look guys. They're literally like everywhere. It's all stuck to this sponge which I had to clean the carpet with. It's like the oddest stuck everywhere and I can't like we don't even have the hoover because it's at the office and the hoover didn't even pick these up. Like what are we on? And there's also the all in black bits on the floor. I don't even know like, where they came from. Look either. what on earth are these little black things everywhere? Oh, we're trying to stay merry. We've got Christmas music on and Disney songs on. We're trying to stay merry. But it's, it's, but it's so hard. 
Oh my god. Ezra, what are we actually going to do? What are because we going to do? Because we can't, we can't move these beads. And I don't think Dad will be able to move them and pick them up. Because unless you pick them up literally individually and put them in a bag. They're going to have to like... They're literally like, all stuck to the floor. They're going to have to go so to the office. hard to pick up. So we just finished off with Isla's nativity and I have to say she was the cutest sheep I think I've ever seen in my whole life. What was the theme of the dance that she did? I'm trying to think of what the theme of the dance was. They did. They had like a, a flower in the mouth and they the were... Latin dance. No. Dun, 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 dun. It was a Spanish dance. Spanish. It's Spanish, isn't it? <laughs> I've got no idea. It was a theme anyway and it was so cute. Granny's having a look. It was a theme and it was so cute. I'll insert a picture of her now because she looked adorable. Anyway, we've just got over, or I've just got on over to the office because I've got a, the tango. That's it. I was telling me the tango. Isla's actually just in the corridor right now, um, but she probably can't hear that I'm vlogging, so. I just got to the office. I've got a ton of work that I need to get done here today, so I'm gonna be spending the next few hours up here with Little Man, although you will have to come back and take him at about six. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I can't get, it's so difficult trying to get stuff done with a little one. You have to keep stopping every two minutes. Bless him. But I'm going to keep him here with me for a couple of hours. It's just gone three now. And then Chris will come back. He's and, got all his toys. Because he has got all his toys and his mummy, which is all he needs. Good <laughs> um, And then Chris is going to come back and get him a little bit later on. But don't worry. The vlog doesn't end here with boring me sat in the office. Because the girls are at home. And they'll see you there. So Isla and Dad just got home and Dad came upstairs and he was like, oh, it's fine. And we were like, oh, Dad was so, so sorry. And he was like, don't be silly. It's completely fine. And we can all just clear it up later. Prinny, it's just say uh, you're chilling with me. Helping with Prinny, aren't you, Prinny? Dad brought us these massive boxes to fill up these. So we've emptied two of like, the small boxes into that. So... We cleared up all the rubbish, everything is fine, buzzing with life. Me and Ezra are emptying, how many boxes do we have left? So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We have five boxes to do. Isla's just come home. How was your nativity, Isla? It was amazing! Who were you in the nativity? Abandoned. She was a sheep. <laughs> So these guys have been working tirelessly today to make sure that this room is transformed and they have done such a good job. I know these guys showed you like earlier, it looking a bit roughy tough. What are you being rowdy for, Prinny? My goodness, straight jumping up and biting my fingers. Mm-hmm. You full of beans, man. Now, these guys have done such a good job in here today. They literally have gutted all of their toy boxes. They've made up three huge boxes like this um, full of toys to donate, which we're going to go do tomorrow. And they've done such a good job. They've literally busted it today. So there's lots of space in the toy boxes now. And it's lots more organized and not yeah. cluttered. Playrooms get cluttered quick with these guys. Quick, but now it's looking really really good. Well done, babe. You've done such a good job. Anyway, the task this evening while Sarah's working at the office They've got a ton of stuff to do for baby and me So whilst they were doing that the task this evening was to get that playroom sorted out Checklist off for Christmas done because we're running out of days to get stuff done now Yes, hi baby. I'm back in a second and then whilst they are at the office so dark in this house Whilst they're at the office, we have to sort out everything else like get this house ship shop tip top shape Which is what we're just about been doing ish obviously we've just done dinner we've just spent like an hour having dinner and stuff like that and we've not quite cleaned up yet uh, so that's gonna be the next job so me Isla and Jace are currently, are currently just sat here right now chilling Isla what are you doing take your selfies Oh, Snapchat. Snapchat selfies. <laughs> and little Jace. <gasps> Jace, oh, Jace, you're eating my scrunchie. Jace, I was going to practice my hairstyles with that scrunchie. <gasps> OMG, <laughs> you are an orange, a Christmas orange. <laughs> Jace, oh, what are you watching, Jace? Jace literally loves these so much, don't you, Jace? I'm also so proud of ourselves, literally. We've filled up two huge cardboard boxes filled with presents which will be going to charity um, isn't that amazing isla there's it's literally full of toys there's some like old bath salts kind of things in there and how did you get there jace trying to steal my macbook all the time honestly what are you doing oh what are you doing hey what are you doing jace blah 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 
<laughs> you can't eat my MacBook. You can't eat my MacBook. No, you can't eat it. So I just got back from the office and oh my goodness, am I, my back's actually killing. Oh, that corso looks awful. Anyway, it's 10 p.m. I've not eaten at all and I'm absolutely marvin. So I've just made probably the most unhealthy meal I could possibly have made myself, but I don't care. A bowl of cheese. <laughs> These cheeses are delicious. You can get them in Aldi. But I saw the other day, they've also started selling them in Asda for £2.99. Oh my gosh, if you guys have not tried them, they're called vintage, vintage something and they come in this little bowl and you heat them up in the oven for like half an hour. And they're the nicest cheese with bread dumped in or toasted bread in the whole world. So delicious. Anyway, I have some amazing news to tell you all, which I'm very, very excited about. Do you have the envelope? Guess who won? That. Christmas office door decorating competition. Just comment down below and guess because <sighs> you might, it's just so unbelievable. Me! <laughs> I won! I'm so excited! It wasn't even about the prize. The prize was an Amazon voucher, which, much to dis dis Chris's disgust, has gone straight back out on a present for the girls to send to Santa. And Chris is not happy about it, but <laughs> I, I couldn't be more happy. <laughs> no, he is really, but he's just like, mm, not really sure you need to be sending more gifts to Santa for the girls. But this was on a bargain price. And the fact that I don't have to pay for it, well, I had to put some towards. But yeah, I'm so happy. So, so happy. Anyway, that's it for tonight's vlog, guys. Hope you all enjoyed watching. I'm not too sure what's been filmed because I've not been here most of the day. But it's been a crazy one. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5pm. Good night, guys. Mmm. -hmm.